Welcome back, East Texas. We're joined now by Judas and Magnolia with the Avalon Fair, which is over in Kilgore, happening every weekend through the month of April. You guys definitely want to check it out. They're going to tell us a little bit about what's going to happen there. So welcome, you guys. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank You're you for having welcome. us. welcome. Thank you for having us out. You guys look so nice. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Just this little thing. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about what's going on at the Avalon Fair. If people haven't been there before. Well, if you'd like to go, Magnolia. Absolutely. So we've got two more weekends out at Avalon Fair in Kilgore, and uh, we've got a few exciting events in particular. Um, aside from our wonderful entertainment, we've got lots of vendors with lots of wonderful handmade items, pretty shiny things, which always get me in trouble. <laughs> but in addition to that, we've also got mead tastings every weekend, as well as raffles. And this Sunday in particular, we're going to also have an Easter egg hunt. Oh, sweet. That's a, the turkey likes at me every time you said meat test. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, my stomach's growling. So you've got a little, little something going on here. We do. We brought some items. So we have a lot of entertainment out at the Avalon mm -hmm. Fair. That's what We're I've heard. We have birds of prey, magicians, minstrels. Magnolia and I do an escape artist stunt. We generally start our escape artist stunt by doing a little display of dexterity. And we do that by juggling swords. Okay. Would you guys like a demonstration? Yes, of course we do. <laughs> now, as I'm doing that, Magnolia has a beautiful voice, so we'd like to put that on, di on display. Would you mind singing a little bit for us? Absolutely. Yeah, All right, let's check this out. So how yeah. long have you guys been um, with the Avalon Fair? We've been with the Avalon Fair since year one. So really? Like five years now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's you guys' favorite part about it? <sighs> if you have to pick I, one, I'm, put, I'm giving you tough questions now. I know, it's a, it's a tough question. <laughs> but uh, for me, it's the magic that we create out at the fair. It's when you walk through those gates, the beautiful place that we all create together. Not just what we're making on stage, but how we're interacting with our audience and the beauty that that creates. Um, for me also, um, I love the history of it. So especially for kiddos, um, I think it's lovely to come out and have a day with the family and to be immersed into uh, an active learning environment. That was always one of my favorite things when I was a kiddo going out to fair. What about you? I feel like it's family. We've gotten to know a lot of people in the community, a lot of the vendors and the other entertainers. So every year we look forward to coming back and to spend another, another season with everybody. Yeah. Plus the family and the connection of the community. Absolutely. I've noticed that with you guys when you come on. So if you, do you have any tips for first timers? Oh, uh, I think just don't be afraid to have fun. Just jump in and uh, just let yourself play. Just let yourself play and interact and be open to learning new things, too. Mm -hmm. I a love little, that. A little bit of advice we like to give before our show is you have to be fun to have fun. Mm -hmm. There you go. Have lots of fun. That sounds like exactly what it is. If people want to find tickets, where can they do that? You can find them online or at the gate at Avalon Fair. All right. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you oh, for having welcome. us. Thank you. Absolutely. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere.